Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm back in the studio, the printer is running so I hope that's not making too much noise. This week I wanted to do a video of how I do my bookmarks. You have been asking some questions on the comments of my studio vlogs so I thought I could make a video explaining everything. I'm going to talk about the materials that I use, how I do my matte lamination and everything else from the beginning to like the final product. I only started to do the bookmarks by myself uh, a few months ago. I used to do them outside like the printing and the lamination. Without further ado, let's start the video and I hope you enjoyed it and that you um, learn a lot about making bookmarks. So yeah, let's go! So first of all, let's talk about paper. I use a 350 GSM paper with a matte finish. I really, really like this one. Um, all the links will be in the description with the materials that I'm going to show you, included this paper and the brand that I use. I get most of my things from Amazon and I really, really like the quality and the colors of this paper. Everything gets so bright. I use the Canon PIXMA IX6850 to print and I love it. Now let's talk about the lamination roll that I use. It's not exactly paper, but I think this is called BOPP roll. It's like a kind of plastic. It's a very thin lamination roll. It only has like, I think it's 30 microns, so it's very very thin, it comes in a roll like this and it's not very easy to use, you have to be very careful because it's so so thin and fragile. I basically have them in this IKEA stand and I cut it by hand with a scissor and I try to leave it as straight as possible and you have to be super careful not to get any particles between the sheets of lamination and the paper. Paper. I always laminate on both sides just to have a nice finish on both sides. I love that extra protection that it gives to the bookmarks and it's just not a piece of paper, basically. So before laminating I use like a plastic cover that I got on Amazon as well. This is used uh, with the mink machines for foiling. This is like some thick uh, pieces of plastic that I basically use to put the sheet of paper with the lamination inside. This gives an extra protection when I'll put the lamination through the laminating machine. Now let's talk about lamination itself. Um, after all of that, I would put the laminating paper and inside the pocket through the laminator. I used to use this one that you are seeing right here, but as you can see, it would stuck a lot. Since it's pretty old, I think it's not eating, eating correctly now. Um, it will have like a lot of spots in the lamination and the lamination will get a lot of bubbles as well. I basically bought a new one. I got a new one from Amazon. It was actually quite cheap. It still has some bubbles and some flaws on the lamination, but at least I feel like the heat is well distributed and it gives a more nice look on the final product and everything. After lamination, I basically take off the sheets of plastic, the pockets, the plastic pockets. I, I have to peel them off carefully and I need to secure the bookmarks in place because it will stick. Basically, the lamination has a glue side um, that will stick to the paper, but it will also stick to the, um, the plastic pocket. So I need to release them from there because it's all glued with the heating.
In the final it looks like this, it has a very nice matte finish as you can see over here and I really really love uh, how it looks. So then we get to the cutting phase. In here you can just use scissors or exacto and a ruler, what you have by hand. I use, uh, this is not a guillotine but I don't really know the name in English. Um, I really really like it, it's A3 size so I can cut basically everything with it. And the cutting it's super straight and super accurate so for this first cuts I always use it and I really really like it. This wasn't quite cheap at the time but I already bought it a few years ago so I don't remember exactly. Then I always give like a nicer cut when I'm bulk making bookmarks on the guillotine so they will be all nice and straight and all the same size basically and it gives a more finished look because they are all um, nicely cutted. Then it's time for the final touches. So this is not, um, this is your choice. I do this because I like to see them with round corners. I have this round corner cutter that I got on Amazon, but looking back, I think it was super expensive for what it does. And the cutting, the cutting, it's not very accurate. I always need to cut it twice uh, to get it right so I think I don't advise you to get one of these I mean I really like it for cutting notebooks it's the only way that I have for cutting notebooks but it takes a long time to get everything nice and like perfect so it's nice if you want to have a bigger round cutter than those small ones but those are enough I used to use those ones and they are perfect for when you are cutting only one or two bookmarks as you can see over here I always have to see if everything looks good and then cut twice because it's very hard to get it right and this is the final product! They look so so cute, I really really love to make these bookmarks. So I hope this video was helpful, I hope you enjoyed it and that you are now ready to do your own bookmarks. Everything that I mentioned from materials and everything else it's going to be on the description of this video as always. If you have any questions just leave them in the comments and I'll answer them. I love to talk with you in the comments and um, I'm more than happy to answer all of your questions. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this kind of content. I post at least one video a week. Hit the bell button so you get notifications every time I post one so you won't miss a thing. Leave some suggestions on the comments of videos you would like to see from me, of subjects that you would like me to talk or explain something of some process of what I do or some materials or something like that. I'm going to sign off now and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one bye bye